Hey, what's up, YouTube peoples and patrons and people named Steven? I have no idea why. <laughs> so, huge shout out to Vert, aka Rex. This dude, he's a Marlin dev. He has this awesome, crazy fork of Marlin where it simplifies how to build your version of Marlin with the mods you have on your printer. He has a PayPal and a Patreon right here. You can see on the screen at the top of this file here. So head to his patron. I'll post a link to it. Or not. I'll post a link to his GitHub so you can download this and play around yourself. But check this out. So here's your typical Marlin. You know, we're in VS Code. But there's a start here file. Instead of jumping into the configuration H and configuration advanced H and, you know, manually programming your own firmware or you know, me supporting like 30 variants <laughs> for all the different variants, there's this awesome simple method where you just follow the steps one through four. So step one, we pick our base model, which is easy because we've got a bear. So uh, the bear here, this one's just with a regular uh, SKR version 1.4, the turbo is with a turbo variant of that. We've got a Zerbo, we've got the different Z heights, we've got to pick our extruder. If you don't pick anything, it just chooses stock, but I have a BMG 0.9 on this one. If you had 0.9 on the XY, choose this. And we'll scroll down because I need to enable my 2209s. But you can use anything you want. Uh, we can scroll down. And if you have a BL Touch, you do Touch Probe. If you don't, you choose the Pinda. I prefer double speed for my probing. Um, if you have the Mechatronics fan, there is a change to the PWM output. So this is right here for you if you have that fan. If you have the TFT35, just choose full graphics LCD. That'll make it happen. Or if you have a full graphics LCD, you can do that. If you don't choose anything, it's a 2004 screen. We do have a filament runout sensor. And we do have, let's do, let's do linear advance. Of course, we want linear advance. And fade height. And that should be it. Yep, that's all of it here. Then we hop over to platform I&I. &I, and you can see that here's the different environments you can have. We need to comment out this one by putting a pound sign and deleting the pound sign here. And that's it. It's literally done. Everything's done. So you have all the custom menus that I've worked on. You have all the fancy correct settings to make it work. And we just hit the compile button and she will compile. So basically, Vert did the coolest thing ever, <laughs> which is um, I offered him some uh, cash monies to help add this to his um, uh, magic repertoire of things. And you can see it, it did build successfully. And it's here. So we just, you know, we got we got to throw a few bucks towards the man because he's awesome. Uh, or at least send him a high five via the internet. Hop on to, you know, subscribe to his YouTube channel. He's got it all here. But yeah, this definitely makes it a heck of a lot easier for everyone that's coming over from a base bear wants to remove the INC and wants to add the SKR. So uh, yeah, we're gonna continue tweaking this, um, making sure everything works well and testing. So if you have a bear build, I'll probably be like, hey, could you make this thing and see if it works for you? And yeah, we can go from there. Other than that, uh, this is amazing. Shout out dude Rex, you freaking rock. And yeah, hopefully the this kind of gets around. Maybe y'all can, uh, convince him uh, hopefully monetarily don't make the man work for free uh, to add more printers and stuff so you can have a pretty awesome setup here but other than that this is super cool appreciate the vert man and yeah until next time keep on printing things that make you happy